The Anko Borrowers Program, a brainchild of the Buhari administration, is geared towards boosting rice production and poverty reduction. Here in the state, 11 local government areas are participating in the dry season farming under the program with 2,300 farmers benefiting from seeds, fertilizer, herbicides, among others. The benefiting farmers now await cash disbursement from the Agric Bank, which is at its peak. For dry season, apart from the implements, the state stands to receive over 600 million naira for the beneficiaries. As the rains peak, the program, according to the chairman project management team, who is also the SSG, Dr. Umar Buba Bindru, the entire 21 local government will participate with targets of 42,000 farmers, 2,000 each from a local government. He noted that the program will focus on maize and rice for the rainy season. At an average credit package of 200,000, this will translate to a total of around 4.2 billion naira coming into our state. This is huge. If we extend our luck and say that we are going to get 2,000 farmers, per local government, let's say 1,000 farmers for rice and 1,000 farmers for maize. Put together, you're talking 42,000 farmers and at an average uh, loan packet of 200,000, we're hopefully going to attract a total of 8.4 billion naira into our economy. So the Anko Boras program, is a, as far as I'm concerned, is a very, very attractive package. We're trying to implement it to the letter. The SSG maintains that apart from implements, the total sum of 8.4 billion naira is expected to be injected into the state economy if the 42,000 farmers abide by the rules of the program. To ensure the success of the program during rainy season, the state vice chairman Anko Borowa's program, Stephen Madwa, says compilation of farmers group is ongoing. Yeah, we are working, we are working on the, the list from the various local governments. We have issued out forms to 200 and 226 wards, that is, electoral wards in the state. In all the 21 local governments have their, their forms. And uh, this form, we want to target the real farmers. He called on farmers to always accept government policies and programs on agriculture as they are meant to boost food production in the state and the country in general. Elamat Abanad, 2-6 News.